what's going on guys? Today we are going to tighten up the steering radius in this thing because it sucks right now. We're going to make some modifications to the steering linkage also. We're going to tighten up the suspension so we can take it off and jump. Big air! Big air. We're going to wear helmets this time. What we've got here is this is as far as the steering wheel <laughs> will turn. It's real sad. It's pretty pathetic. So, I had a thought that we'd uh trim a little bit off of this right here. So this arm will pass over this piece, which will give us a little bit more turn in radius. Without compromising the strength of the... Yeah, we're trying not to compromise the integrity of this uh, suspension piece. There. This tie rod is on the wrong side of, of this steering. I think it's supposed to be down here. Okay, that's easy too. The wheel came off, the, or the tire came off the rim back there also. That's why you should always keep air in the tire <laughs> and uh, don't move it until there's air in the tire. Um, that steering linkage already looks a lot better to me. Okay. So I'm going to put this uh, nut back on and then we can address the toe. She still is towed in. I bet, oh wow, that's bad. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to, did you screw it out or screw it in? I screwed it out. Which makes it even more tow. Nailed it. <laughs> you know, I think I know why. I mean, I think they gave it the steering radius for a reason. It's cause when you're going fast and you like, you make a, a turn. It, it could be, yeah. That puppy really wants to flip over. So I'm sure they don't true. want any like nine year olds just cranking down on it and you know what? Over. I didn't think about that. They could have done it on purpose for that reason. Yeah. I'd like to put a diesel on it, man. Me too. Yeah. But diesels, turns out, are really expensive. <clears throat> Maybe a company will want to send us a diesel. I did call Go Power Sports and uh, they had some insight like what apparently like um semi tractor trailers have some kind of uh two cylinder diesel to like keep the power running overnight and stuff right we could snag one of those that's what tim said yeah but i bet you that'd be more expensive than you think even at, like a junkyard or something yeah we gotten ourselves in some sticky situations down in the gully where we couldn't get around the trees because there wasn't enough turning radius. So we're doing everything we can to get a little bit more out of it. Oh yeah, it's working. Nice. Think about taking this wheel off to get in there just a little bit. I can either take a little bit off here or I can take a little bit out of there. Just did a little notch in there and I put a little tiny notch there. Uh, we should take this opportunity to put some grease in there while we're uh, at it. Oh, there you go. Good idea. Yep. We actually have enough room I can put a washer in there to tighten things up too. I don't understand why they build these things with slop in the suspension like that. Well, some of the slop is going to be uh, put in there from, eight, uh, from oh, years from of use. use. Yeah, that makes sense. See how, oh, that's, that's definitely a difference. Nice to know, I'll just make the same modifications to the other side and uh, tighten up the suspension, we'll be good to go. I probably gotta let air out of that tire too. Yeah, buddy. That's a huge difference. Nice. Okay, it steers further one way than the other. 
I oh, got the alignment gosh. off just a little bit. Hey, it's fine. It's good enough. Yeah, uh, that looks definitely better. Yeah. Let's see if we run into an issue with the tire rubbing on the frame. A little bit. Just oh. touching. That'll be fine. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. You just... What's going on here? What? That way, then that way. It's like way farther that way. Yeah. Like the tire's almost touching the frame. And then it's not even close. It's not going far enough that way. So I need to shorten this side and lengthen that side a tad. All right, so we're out here at Dirt Chickens uh, with the drip dog. I can get it warmed up. pretty fast. So when we made the performance mods to it, we totally forgot to take it out here and do another lap. Hey, before you break it, let's do another lap. Ready, set, go. The time to beat is 21.48. cutting off while I'm doing the uh, drifting. I wonder if this thing has the low, oil, low sensor. oil sensor on it. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, this torque converter is taking a lot of time uh, engaging. Yeah. Um, I think it needs another torque converter. Or just rebuilt one or, or something. Or gone through. Yeah. Because it, it lags. It's accelerating and then it just kind of hangs there and then all of a sudden you feel it start to accelerate more yep. without changing the RPM on yep. the engine. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go try some jumps? Yeah, let's jump this. Baby. Okay. Hey man, this might work out. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You came out of it. I came out of it and I still got air. Nice. All right. <laughs> it lands so rough. We're gonna bend the axle. We're gonna. Oh, we're gonna do something. Yeah. Poor girl. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Are you all right? <laughs> you, my head's you. You pick the smoother spot. I guess for more speed, right? Yeah. I, I didn't see anything more impressive than what I did. Did you? Hospital trip. Hospital trip. Oh, he's going for the smooth one. <laughs> he's going for the safe spot again. Look, he's putting it up on three wheels. My butt picked up off the speed. Powerful enough. Oh, here we go. <laughs> She's taking it. Yeah, I think I might have seen a little wobble out of that rear wheel. I mean, there's a reason why, like in the X Games, all the jumps have like. So you're saying we need to build one? I'm saying we need to build one. Uh -huh. All right. We need something faster to go off under it. But this is a lot better than it was last time we were out here. Yes, sir. The steering radius is so much better, and like it has some speed now. Yep. It's not a lot, but it has some. It, it, you actually look like you're moving yep. when you're going through the field. What's wrong, buddy? You get stuck. I was trying to straddle the canal. It didn't work. 
<laughs> you got stuck. Yeah. can't control myself i always break it is it broken no i'm just saying you're just getting off of it before you do break it yep then it's my turn okay you got it bud i don't know bud <laughs> there's no Out way deep. there's no way i'm afraid oh oh yeah you made it so that's all we got for this one, guys. We modified the steering, so it gets a much better turning radius. We stiffened up the suspension, and those things combined with the performance modifications we made, this thing's actually turning out to be a pretty solid go-kart. I'm loving it, dude. Yeah, it's not like fast, but it's fast enough to hurt yourself. Yeah. Uh, the next thing I'd like to do is uh, probably a torque converter, either uh, working on this one or getting another one. It's yep. hanging up. Yep. Um, and the engine. Yeah, different power plant. We got to do something different. Um, me personally, I'd rather go with a modified Predator 212, uh, maybe from Go Power Sports since they build them. Yep. Um, uh, but uh, yeah. uh, diesel would be pretty awesome, but they are so expensive. Yep. And uh, John? I kind of want to do a dirt bike engine. I don't know. I mean, like, 212s are great because they're cheap, they're reliable, they make a lot of power, they're compact, but that's kind of what we do every time. So, dirt bike engine. Um, two stroke. For what? You want more speed out of this? Of course, man. More speed? Yeah. I had this thing up on two wheels today. That's okay. We need to jump it better. We need to, no, we need to build a jump for this thing. Oh yeah, we also did another lap because we forgot to last We time. did. It's did. like two and a half seconds-ish faster. Not bad considering that That's all good. it cost us to modify this was, uh... A muffler. A muffler and the, uh, carburetor. I mean, basically, for a hundred bucks and the cost of a carburetor and a muffler, this is where this thing is at. It's a respectable is, car. Like pretty good. It's, yeah. It's, it's very, very nice. I Not love it. It's all. smooth. Um, lacks in the power department, but it's, okay. uh, it's all right. Yeah. So we got to thank Go Power Sports as always. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check Ike out on YouTube at Isaac. It'll be fine. I uh, just want to let you guys know we got a new big project coming up. Not going to give anything away, but I'm very excited about it um so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one